Hello and welcome back to my channel where we discuss various topics on fantasy, historical fiction, and the like. And today we're going to be talking about A Song of Ice and Fire. So I got myself a burrito. We're going to eat burritos and discuss A Song of Ice and Fire more specifically in lieu of House of the Dragon coming up really soon. I wanted to talk about what caused the Dance of the Dragons to happen. The Dance of the Dragons, if you don't know, was the Targaryen Civil War that took place, I think it was about 200 years, give or take, um, before the main Game of Thrones series takes place. I'm gonna take my first bite here. This tortilla looks kind of weird. On camera, it doesn't look that weird, but it looks kind of weird. And this burrito is like kind of small. Anyway, in House of the Dragon, the TV show that will be premiering sometime in 2022, I believe so. It was the last I heard. I'm recording this in July of 2021. That's going to be covering the Dance of the Dragons, what we're talking about today. So I'm gonna give you a summary on how that started. There was, I'm gonna backtrack a while. There was this council, they called it the Great Council of 101. It took place in the year 101 AC after the conquering, after, what I don't, I forget exactly what AC stands for, but it was after Aegon conquered the Seven Kingdoms and united them as one and became king. So there was this great council that was held where so many of the lords and the nobles from all over Westeros came to, crap, I, I forget what it was. I think it was Harrenhal. Yeah, all these nobles came together to decide what they should do once the current king, Jaehaerys, who was very, very old at the time, once he was dead, who should become king? Because his eldest living heir, um, because him, he and his wife had, I think it was like 13 children, and a lot of them died. Like he outlived a lot of his kids. And I think the oldest one that was still alive at the time was a woman. So they were trying to decide if they should just leave the Iron Throne to, like once Jaehaerys died, if they should just leave the Iron Throne to his daughter, who was the oldest, or his next son. Because they were trying to figure out if it should be the eldest, even if, whether it's a man or a woman, or if it should be the eldest boy. Sorry, that was wrong. Quick correction. They were trying to decide if they should leave the throne to his dead eldest son's daughter's husband. I know, it's a lot. Or if they should leave the throne to his second eldest son, who was just recently his heir, but he died, to his son. That's what they were trying to figure out. Flash forward, I don't remember exactly how many years off the top of my head. There's a king, his name is Viserys. Not to be confused with that Viserys, this is a guy that actually was king of Westeros, was the king of the Seven Kingdoms, sat the Iron Throne, all that good shit. He got married, had a daughter, and then his wife died. So he said, you know, okay, even though we're supposed to, I'm supposed to, you know, leave the Iron Throne to my eldest son. I don't have a son, so we're going to leave it to my daughter. His daughter, his only child, was, her name was Rhaenyra. And Rhaenyra was being trained through her upbringing to be queen, to be the leader of the Seven Kingdoms. This is just a bean and cheese burrito. It's so good. Even though I said the tortilla looked weird. It's a lot of tortilla. It's so good. I haven't had a burrito in a while. I love salsa too. I got salsa very day. So King Viserys decided Rainier you're gonna be queen when I'm dead. And then he ended up getting remarried to this bitch called Alicent Hightower. And Alicent Hightower gave him, I believe it was two sons. It was at least two, I know that much. Could have been, I don't know, maybe there could have been another one in there that wasn't as important or vital to the outcome of the story. So maybe that's why I'm blanking on it. I read the book, Fire and Blood, that House of the Dragon is based off of. I've read it twice, but it's still been a while since I last read it. So it's all, this is all coming from up here. This bitch, Alicent Hightower, gives Viserys two more sons before he dies. Viserys ends up dying. I think he was, you know, not in the best health. He didn't really take good care of himself. He wasn't like a 
great swordsman or whatever. He was just like, you know, kind of overweight and just kind of gluttonous. He dies. Don't think he's super old, but he dies. When he dies, Rhaenyra, who Viserys said, even though I have two more sons, I still want Rhaenyra to be queen when I'm gone. So Rhaenyra is on Dragonstone, which is really close to King's Landing. And she's actually giving birth. And while that's happening, Viserys' bitch of a wife, Alison Hightower, gets this small little secret council together known as the Green Council. You'll learn more about that in the show. I won't get too detailed on that right now. She gets them together to sneakily make her eldest son, Aegon, king to plan out his coronation, do it really fast, do it in secret. Nobody can object. She knows what, she knows what the deal is. She knows that Aegon is not supposed to be the king when her husband, King Viserys, died. But she's conniving, she's ruthless. She says, screw that. I want my son to be king. She hated Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra and Allison, not cool with each other. So Rhaenyra finds out that this happens. She's pissed. And then it starts an all out civil war. It's like little by little, it, like the war becomes this horrible, horrible catastrophe that spoiler alert leads to the death of many, many, many Westerosi and almost every single dragon the only dragons left at the end of this war are like tiny little dragons that never even got that big and when they died off that was it there were no more dragons and it was all because of this war so rhaenyra does um some sneaky stuff too if you want to call it sneaky i know i sound biased towards rhaenyra i mean she you you learn that she's not like the greatest person but i just because of how sneaky they were and how it was the king's wish the king's rule that she would become queen i do think that it was fair for her to become queen i think it was totally wrong how how they cor had a coronation coronated i don't know if coronated is a verb or actual word but i thought it was just really sneaky how they did that i thought it was wrong to go against the very recent dead king's wishes like that so that's my opinion on the whole thing this war leads to a bunch of dead people a bunch of dead citizens a bunch of dead soldiers bunch of dead dragons yeah it starts out with like you know them trying to get all the different major houses in westeros on their side and then it leads to a lot of rhaenyra's sons get killed sometimes in really horrible ways um a few of aegon's sons get killed in extremely gruesome ways these very young children die in these horrible ways it's a catastrophe it's a big fat mess it's all because they tried to make aegon king when it should have been When it should have been Rhaenyra as queen. If they just let Rhaenyra become queen, there would have been bitterness at court between her and her half-brother Aegon, and then his younger brother Aemon, and their mother Alicent. But it would not have, most likely would not have led to this horrible war in which many people suffered horribly. And they probably still would have had dragons, and then the Targaryens would have stayed this all-powerful house and wouldn't have ended up becoming usurped later on down the line by the Baratheons. Maybe it would have happened some other way. I don't think so though. If they had their dragons, the, mo the most powerful weapon you can have in that world, they, they probably would have continued their royal line for a very long time. Much longer than they actually did. So a lot of pettiness, a lot of sneakiness, just a lot of adults acting like children was their downfall you could say i guess so that is what led up to the dance of the dragons if you like this video give it a thumbs up to support my channel and subscribe to see more videos on fantasy historical fiction and the like thank you for watching i'm so full that was a really good burrito